my producers, Emily Lynch and Yasmin Johnson, my sister Yasmin Johnson. <laughs> Emily started coming to Afghanistan with me way early on um, in 2007. She was like, someone needs to record your band making this album, and I feel like I'm supposed to come with you. I've never made a film. We can do this together. I just really think someone should be there. And I was like, yes, come, okay, let's, you know, uh, yes, yes. And we, we started this process and, and realized when we got back how much bigger the film was and all this footage I had from all these years. And we started to really envision this together. How did you get interested in music? I know you said it was around your household growing up, and then you said you were writing songs on your own. Did you study? Because you can play the piano, you can sing, you can play guitar. How did, how did you get into all that? Uh, I think I grew up definitely immersed in Afghan music, as you saw the film. When I, when I was uh, 13, I started playing guitar. It was kind of a secret, my music, and uh, I was an actress, and I went to film school, and and then um, I just started to write and not really tell anyone, but in my trips to Afghanistan, it just kind of took over. I mean, it just very organically. I just had a lot to, to make music about. How did you find the Afghan musicians to participate on your album? How did you locate them? My dad, he was almost like an executive producer. <laughs> he was like, Dad, I have this idea. We have to find amazing older men who are so good. Can we find them? Do you think that? Sorry, my voice is like real um, And my dad was like, yes, I have the perfect idea. These men, they are so good. I'm going to talk to them. And when he asked them, they were like, we would be honored. At what point did you think that I'm going to make a film out of this? Was this where you got involved, Emily, that you saw the potential for that? Yes. Um, when I got involved in 2007, there was never any discussion about the footage that Ariana had been gathering. I knew she went to Afghanistan and I knew that she had won some awards for some of her photographs, but there wasn't any talk about any of the other footage she gathered. We just thought, oh, you're going to go make this album. Let's shoot this and cover this. And then when we came back, she said, oh, I have this other footage too. Let me show you some of this stuff. And we started watching the interviews of Sitara and they were just so great. And then I started seeing her photographs of her family, and I said, oh my gosh, this is so much more than just the making of your album. And, you know what, actually, and then, like, earlier than, than us going, as me and I had been working on a screenplay about our parents and our family. We've been telling the story our whole lives. We've always had to explain who we were, because people could look at us and see we were something, but they weren't sure what it was, and up until September 11th, when we would explain it, we really have to explain it because people didn't know where Afghanistan was or what it was. And since 9-11, um, we, we no longer had to explain what Afghanistan was. It's election night. Um, there's been so much talk about Afghanistan in the past decade, and most people, maybe many people in this room, still don't know that Afghanistan is not in the Middle East. It's in Central Asia. Um, most people don't really have a sense of the average Afghan person, and so that was very important to us. Um, and that was so much a part of what Ariana's footage and documentation was about, was interacting with average Afghan people that you don't hear about. You hear about terrorists, you hear about corrupt politicians, but you don't really hear about the average person, and they want the same things that all of us want. So that was important for us to, to, to get out there into the world. You know, there is a lot of hope. One good statistic is that the country is 60% under the age of 15. So if you see Ariana's pictures, it's a lot of young people. And that dynamic means that we can change, or not we, but they in Afghanistan, the country could go in a, into a very good direction. Actually, I, I just got back from Afghanistan about uh, a month ago, and uh, I played a rock festival. And uh, I was really concerned about how it would be received. One show, I had two row, three rows of little girls that were orphans in front of me. And this was their very first concert ever in their lives. And it was like very moving for me, um, these little girls to play for them. And, and then uh, the, the other days when there were men, there were young men, they were coming up to me with tears in their eyes, because I, I think about refugees a lot. And, 
really telling me that the songs really touched their lives and they still write to me every day now. So it's like very beautiful. I, I thought I would, especially being a woman and American, I'm mean, very honest with them, but I'm also very American. It was very beautiful to see that it, I was so well received and actually had an impact. So yeah.